What's up, y'all? SCS and on. Back with another one. Man. It's a beautiful day, but it's about to rain. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Definitely drop some comments. Y'all said more vlogs? So more vlogs. Comment more vlogs. Alright, so today. I hate running around, man. I hate even leaving the house. Man, we gotta take both sewing machines to get fixed. Right. Showed y'all my main sewing machine, the single single needle machine. Um, that bad boy is not locking on reverse stitch and then breaking the thread when I do try to reverse stitch. Now, the double needle was a gift from Debo Customs. He uh, brought it and it was locked. He was like, hey, you can use it. I was like, man, this thing broke, bro. Like, man, this thing ain't broke. It ain't broke, ain't nothing wrong. I'm telling, I'm telling you, it's broke. He's like, do this and do that. But I already knew that I didn't want to make it worse. So I just took it straight to the sewing repair spot. And they're like, yeah, sure enough, it's broke. They fixed the machine for uh, three something. Very reasonable. Fixed it, cleaned it. Did all kinds of stuff. So today, I'm about to take it back to them with the tabletop because I want them to make it. When I get it back, I just want to go. I just want to work. I don't want to do no fabbing, no, no, nothing, nothing. I want to do nothing. Just fix it for me, pick it up when it's done. And then the timing on that one, I need that back ASAP because I actually need to use it. So I'm going to pay whatever I need to pay for them to give me that machine back ASAP. All right, this is the double needle machine. Uh, it sit down in here, right? But I'm gonna put it in there. Hold on. All right, here I go. So y'all can perfectly see exactly what I'm talking about. So sit down in here, perfect. But it is too low, and need a belt. Like all this stuff got to be configured, man. This is where you load the uh, bobbin. This thing is kind of need to be cleaned up and freed up. Um. <laughs> Self-oil, the oil and pump right there. So that need to be uh, sitting in oil at all times so it can keep the machine lubricated. Uh, before, this thing when they, when they move, but they definitely took care of the thing for me. But um, these pieces right here, I might have to get some replacements, like I'm telling you. All these pieces, one, two, everything that the thread ride on, like it's it's it got rust, so it turns the the thread a different color. But um, yeah, about to go ahead and load this in the other machine up in the truck, so I can get them both machines. And with my single needle, I need that back ASAP. So I'm let you know that. Work, boy. All right, this, this should be secure enough to where, where they ain't falling. So the table pushing them out past the uh the clearance, enough clearance so it don't fall over, but it won't fall back either because it's gonna be between the uh, damn, it's gonna be between here and the wheel wheels. So should be good. Yeah. All right, set. So, like I say, got a ship. Press down. Then I'm gonna drop them off. Then I'm gonna go to paint. So, then I'm come back on. And it, it's gonna rain today. So, when the rain here, it get humid. So I don't know. I'm spraying that bumper filler today. I want to put my grill on too. So it's gonna be a lot going on. All right. Trash out. Eat. Let me roll. Man, I put salt and pepper on all my stuff with. Look, this the cheese and sugar person. They call me Chef Boyar Steve. That's what they call him. 
Alright, finna eat, then we're gonna get ready to go. We got the grill shipped. Now we going to the sewing machine spot. We probably get the 25 there again, right? Yeah, we going down 85 to Atlanta. Fairview to Atlanta. Alright, we gone. I just want it, want to pick it up and be able to use it. So then your belt and then all the modifications. And this is brand new. I'll just uh, watch in the comments. Somebody say your the bottom thread could be tangled. Show y'all something. Thing. I usually cut this access off, but yeah, man, it's a machine. It been doing it. It just never did it that much. And shoot, now it's out of control with it. Now. So yeah, I've been saying I was gonna get it checked out since the day we bought it. We're having issues with this one right here. But uh, it's in the right, right spot to get looked at. Uh, uh, 20618-2. No, no, it's a 20618-2. Yes. Okay, that's a, uh, uh, it's got the name Highlander. Uh-huh. I ain't got nothing. This is exactly how I got it. This bad boy. This the self oil one. Yeah, it's supposed to have an oil pan. No, nope, this is how I got and, it. And you don't have the oil pan. Mm -mm. Oh. It's the one that was a gift to me. So, uh, do you uh, need me to try to order your oil pan? Yeah. I need everything for it to be operational. Oh, please let me. Let me call. Um. So tabletop cushions, thread stand. It's gonna be a new machine. Belt, need a belt too. Okay, I, yeah, I, I, I'll throw a belt again. Okay, and change all that too. Oh, and he's gonna check and see if he got these cushions. So, so you're looking at uh, uh, roughly around 504 for the yeah. tabletop, three stand, tension assembly, oil pan. Yeah. Then you get your three with it. Nope. Okay. Because that, uh, that 138, uh -huh. but it was so good with it, and then it just started acting up. Or, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Well, sometimes that 138 is kind of stick there in it. This is like, I think the one that is a little thicker than this. Yeah. This is, uh, looks like 96, 90. This is Tech 90. Right over here. Let me go get some better piece of material. Yeah, I already see he ain't did nothing. He said, you see what the issue is. Well, I'll be knowing. I'll be knowing that something ain't right because, like, I, I use it often, so I be knowing it. it was like uh, kind of workable. Little, little issue, here, little issue. Yeah, nah, that day it was like issues, issues, all over. Let's see. You just getting into the upholstery business, or you? Yeah, I had this machine for a little while. Yeah. Oh, 
Ain't bad, but I'm going to change. That needle's too small. You should be using 92. You need to be using a little bit. So uh, I'm going to put you a size 22 needle in there. Look like this. This might be a Okay, yeah, might be a 22. Let me check that out and see it. Okay. I'll come back though in like 30 minutes. Get some food. Had to get some food. Yeah. We're going back to the sewing machine spot, man. He said I might could pick it up if you make a couple adjustments and uh and it's good. And then I gotta pay for everything with the other sewing machine. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine and then I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine and then I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine and then I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine and then I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine and then I'm gonna have to get a sewing machine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get a sewing and not, that's something I don't know. Some people charge tax on labor and some people don't. Like, it's kind of weird. Because I know I can't charge tax on labor. I charge tax on resale. I can't charge tax on resale. I pay resale tax on things I sell, buy over to sell. But on labor, I don't. I just pay my taxes per what I make for the shop. But uh, y'all see, people be like, hey, uh, oh, that sound like a lot, right? Like, that shit ain't no lot, man. I can't compete with the with the 50 year old man that got the shop. Like, the man got kids that's 30. <laughs> I got babies, like, real babies. Like, I still got people I got to take care of, stuff I, I want to do, things I need. These people enjoy life, man. I'm still, I'm learning, man. Like, I can't compete with them. And then I'm better than them. You put that in there too. I'm better than a lot of these people older people because they don't know these newer techniques these new style you know what i'm saying stuff like that so it's a difference like it's really a difference so when people think like well he told me this bro, please just go to him just go to him i mean there's nothing really i can do price accordingly so hopefully i'll pick, pick this machine up pay for everything and then we go to the paint shop get the paint real quick you know we can't do nothing because it rained outside Hopefully I'll get that paint piece done in the next week. So I've had that grill put back on. But uh, let's see if we can pick this machine up. Now I'm back in the business, man. That's what I should be able to do. It sound a whole lot better too. So he changed the needle, did some adjustments, and it says good. Oh yeah, they got it, you know. If, if not, I might, I might have some in the back somewhere. Oh yeah, it feel a whole lot better. Okay. It sound, sound different too. <laughs> I, 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 I adjusted that timing, timing in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So something was wrong with it, right? A little bit, a little bit. Hey, I already knew. Hello. Did y'all see it? Oh, give me some more needles, whatever needle he just put in here. I'm gonna give me some more. And then, uh, shoot. Yeah, but I hope this boy back up. What you doing, Cookie? And I'm gonna wait on the other one. <laughs> Alright, we at the paint store. So the sewing machine get fixed, man. For that one. That was all the parts. I'm gonna get the sewing machine fixed. Alright, so we at the paint store. Let's see what we got. 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 Let
I know you need a marker, but like I said, it's cool, you know, shit. That's what you gotta do, stay in business. But, uh, just parts and shipping came out 604. Um, but he said it should be ready to go once I get it. And then, uh, plus the labor for him to change the top out and change all the pieces to get it, get it working. So, I'm cool with it. So, we are here now. Pretty close, actually, man. The metallic's a little different, but like I said, it's 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 been many years, so metallics break down. Refract light different. The edges come off. Uh, See, that's just dark, dark though. That has the metallic, but that's just way dark, dark. Is that That's way dark. That goes some something behind the light. I just which one? It's it's a lot of light one. I just seen some. It just looked like like this one right here looked like real close. No, it don't. <laughs> yeah. The metallic. Oh yeah, that's good. A whole pint will be forty-two. I take. Yeah, I take a whole pint then. So, yeah, bulldog and heat promoter. I got prime. I got tape. Got plastic. I need some paper. Paper. Y'all got paper? Paper? Yeah, we got paper. Right here. Dad, come here. Okay, one second. Need some paper. Uh -huh. And then uh, you got you got that in single stage or not? Maybe. I'm gonna see the price difference in between the two. He's trying to get what this? Something around there, yeah. Probably like cobalt blue or something. I want to get gold. We had a blue cobalt. Yeah, not with that paint though. But it was a blue. There's so many colors. Yeah, that's house of colors. There's who? Well, name with a brand, house of colors. Mm, I don't know what the fuck you even in there. I'm gonna buy that yourself because I know they got crazy. Oh, there's a chair. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that says the same thing on here. But go black. No, if I was gonna go black, I would have did that tan inside, like I said. But you said tan is what? All right, well get them redid then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, single stage have been thirty-seven dollars, but you had to get activated for it. So. A pint was forty dollars, forty two something or something like that. So this made more sense. I got reduced at home. I got clear and I got uh reduce of clear. I got everything to make it work at home. So I'm just taking a pint. Then uh shoot, since I'm doing all this running around, I ain't gonna be able to get no work done today. So I think I might just get that done tonight. It's only gonna take like an hour top to do the whole job. So sand, tape, blow, prime, reduce the paint, spray the paint, clear it, let it dry for two hours or so, and we wait, then put the grill on, yeah, I think I might just knock that out right now, shoot, might as well, so I can't, uh, do nothing else, really, so, yeah, all right, I'm about to close y'all out officially, man, uh, nah, I ain't finna wipe that oil with that towel, I still be using that, try this paper, so, I knew something was wrong with the machine. He confirmed it. Uh, this ain't doing nothing. But yeah, now it's good, man. He put like eight layers. He changed the needle. He put a leather cut needle instead of a point needle. So what this needle do, probably can't even see it, man. Probably can't. I bought a pack of them also. Let me see. All right, so what this needle do is cut through the material. See how it's like a knife tip. But he said that's better for leathers, vinyls, upholstery, anything thick. This is what came with the machine, regular point needle. So I pointed all the way around. 
He said this cut nigga better. Let's see, focus, focus. Y'all you know, see how it's like a, a knife. So, yeah, I said, give me a pack of them. He gave me this one for free, but I said, man, give me a pack of them. So, anytime I have needle issues, it'd be good. But, yeah, yeah, he fixed this one for free, too. So, that's another good thing. Shoot, for the free, I said, shit, same day for free. He said he made some adjustments. The timing was kind of off a little bit. But he said, uh... He didn't notice it until he put layers of material in. So he kept playing with it. I left when we got some food, came back, and it was done. And I paid for the other machine to get situated. But yeah. So y'all out, man. I, like I said, I thought I was going to be able to paint that piece real quick because we about to go somewhere. Family time. We about to go bowling or something like that. But I thought I was going to be able to paint that piece. It's not warm enough. No, if I have some runs, I don't want to. Go ahead and go back and have to wet sand and buff and do all that just for that little trim piece. Uh, but yeah, close y'all out, man. See, so yes, I'm out. I'm about to cover this car up because I know I'm just trying to prepare. I always do this the day before, man. I'm about to do something. I prepare ahead of time. So I'm about to take this and cover that car up. This car going to go out the garage. And then shoot, it's good. I'm too short, but uh, yeah, I'm about to cut y'all off, man. Yes, I'm out.